closet full of teddy bears or ticket to heaven and hell and back for the price of a stuffed animal chapter nine romance in the workplace you never could have imagined how wonderful that new job was going to be the plushy and impressive corporate office environment is such a thrill to you on that first day and the best part of it is some of those devastatingly attractive co-workers you find buzzing all around you all the vital knowledge you gained in college and all your years of experience just seem to have somehow gone out the window when you find yourself staring at some of those attractive co-workers then there's that most gorgeous one that completely blows your socks off you realize with your mouth and eyes wide that you have truly found heaven and are in a euphoric form of paralysis and in desperate need for someone to provide you with a drool bucket you notice someone lightly tapping on your shoulder it's difficult but you manage to pull your eyes from the gorgeous one just long enough to look up and see someone standing next to you with a stern look on their face but no the person is not holding your drill bucket but rather a box for you to slowly put your things in while you feel the pain and want to cry they are standing there looking at you somberly before escorting you to the door and hopefully with a little luck and good fortune maybe your next job can last somewhat longer than just one hour on the other hand perhaps you find yourself being an unfortunate one who is pursued by a co-worker of whom you have absolutely no interest whatsoever there's nothing attractive about the person in fact she lends an entirely new meaning to the term psychotic pit bull from hell with rather vicious methods of showing how much she adores you with her snarling teeth but she has nevertheless staked out her man and must have him at any cost with most of the company knowing full well that she needs to be deported back to the country from whence she came and only with the dim hope of getting lucky with the greasy cook in the galley of the slow boat that's making its way back to her forlorn third world country closet full of teddy bears or